Rick, you're right about that, and it's interesting because you can already feel a change in the weather out here. Oh, sure, it is still hot, but it is a different type of heat that we're feeling out here for the first time since this heat wave began. It really is more of a, a tropical heat. You could feel the humidity. You could see the clouds around the full moon tonight, and you could almost feel the rain as it's on its way. Have a look. Moon over the IE as the clouds and the remnants of Hurricane K are moving in. Today is like a rainy day in the morning. It's not that hot, but in the afternoon, it's super hot. The changing weather already bringing showers here in Victorville in the high desert and along the foothills in Glendora as the end of the long lasting heat wave is finally here and it seems just in time. And I know you can go to a cooling station, but who wants to pick up everything you own and go to a cooling station? And I don't really know what that's about. Utility crews move in, replacing power poles and wires here in Rancho Cucamonga. All scheduled maintenance, they say, that has brought power outages in this neighborhood and frustration. This is the third day of no power. It's separated a few days apart, but it's over 100 degrees. I have a little generator at home that's running a little air conditioner and my refrigerator, but it really hardly helps. The searing heat continues to fuel the deadly Fairview fire in Hemet as it burns through more than 23,000 acres. Fire Command now ordering even more evacuations, mostly for the area west of Highway 74. Thousands have already been forced to leave their homes. The fire more than taking its toll, leaving this woman badly burned. Her husband and daughter did not survive as they all tried to escape driving through the fire. She's in a lot of pain and, you know, just the memories. She doesn't want to be alone with the thoughts and the memories. Now live, a relative of the fire victim saying it has just been a nasty, horrific several days for her family as they try to get through this tragedy. When we talk about that fire that's burning out in Hemet, there are new concerns, growing concerns as this weather system, the remnants of a hurricane moves in over the next 24 hours or so. Frontline concerns for firefighters that you have the remnants of a hurricane, high winds, blowing winds that threaten to whip those flames even more, threaten to spread that fire even more before the rains, the heavy rains move in. It is a threat that fire command is watching very closely. They say they will be on it right now until the system moves in, but everybody here hoping for a break, hoping for a rain, not too much rain because the fire area, the fire scars up there in the mountainside on the foothills, the threat of some flash floods there. So it's going to be a nasty weekend here as this system moves through. For now, we are live Rancho Cucamonga. Back to both of you we go. All right, and thank you.